Hey guys, Wordle here, and today I'm going to be talking about the new Xbox One reveal. Um, this is my little rant, and I am not happy. I am raging. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys are feeling the same way, but all right, let, let's just let's just talk about what they revealed and what they have confirmed. Some of this may be rumors. I'm not too sure. Ugh. And this is not a good game to play while I'm doing an angry rant. Uh, this is my first time ever doing a rant and I just feel like I need to. Um, I'll put links in the descriptions, you know, to, to show you guys that I'm not bullshitting you. Um, Cause some of you, some of you already got mad at me and told me that no you, you just hate the xbox you're you're more of a ps fan and i'm not more of a ps fan guys you know i play only the xbox the only playstation consoles i have is playstation 1 and 2 i didn't have ps3 and i'm not looking to buy ps4 i prefer my xbox i am a big xbox fan I've had the Xbox probably since it first came out. I'm not too sure. Um, anyways, our first topic, our first little rant about the Xbox One is that it's going to require... <laughs> it's going to require internet connection every 24 hours if you want to play games. They said... I'm not too sure about this, but they said you could be offline, but if you want to play a game, you have to hook up to the internet. And, okay, this is a bunch of bogus. I mean, what if the people want the Xbox that don't have internet? What if they're moving and they take off their internet? I don't know if you guys know how that works. What if they're bored at home? They're not going to be able to get on the fucking Xbox to play a game. What if they want to play the campaign? Nope, sorry. You gotta hook up to the internet. Sorry, can't play it. I I just I think that's ridiculous. What do you guys think? You know, post in the comment section below what you guys think about that. Oh my god, ugh. I hate this game, but it's so addicting. Anyways, our next one is well, okay. Let me just say they basically handed the crown to Sony um, for the next generation. Uh, <sighs> Once they said that console needs an internet connection, I think, you know, and then right after that, Sony said that their entire console can be used without internet. They just handed the crown to them. And don't get me wrong, I'm totally fine with that. I love Sony. I do. But I'm just, I just, I, I'm so disappointed with the Xbox One. It is just a bunch of doo-doo. <laughs> It's horrible. And they said that you have to pay a fee. Fuck me. You have to pay a fee to play used games. What if you just want to test out a game? What if your friend is letting you borrow a game to see if you actually want to buy it? Nope. Sorry. There's going to be a thing to pop up on your screen that you have to pay a fee to play this. What the hell? Right? That That's just so... That... I'm not, I can't even express, I, I don't even know what to say about that. I think that's just very, very, very stupid. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> and they have no backwards compatibility for 360 games. So, okay, I need to pause this. There's no backwards compatibility for 360 games so all those games that you bought for the 360 that big collection that you have sorry no you have to rebuy every single game that you want to play oh and to make things better all of your saved stuff is not going to come with you you have to redo the whole fucking thing no yeah your game score would come with you but not all your game saves nope i mean i'm I'm not too sure if there's a way where you could save it to an external hard drive and plug it in. I don't know because that's going from the 360 saves to the Xbox One saves. I don't know. This is just a little rumor going around. But, oh 
the you achievement hunters and the people that you know took ages to finish a game i am so very sorry but if you want this xbox one you have to redo the whole motherfucking thing i don't know how this is gonna work out if you're gonna get more gamer score from it i have no clue i don't know exactly i have no idea but i just think that is ridiculous <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna buy the Xbox One because I bought a, I bought a lot of games already, and I am not going to re-buy them, and I'm not going to pay a fee to play my friend's game. <laughs> who else is with me on the, who else is with me on this one? Okay, and listen to this. They said. That the Xbox One, they confirm this, the Xbox One requires Connect to be hooked up in order to use it. What? What? Are they going to be watching me while I sleep? And they're trying to make it so you won't think about that stuff, saying, Oh, it's going to be 1080p, you can Skype with your friends, it's voice activated, you can get your stuff through your voice or your hand movements and... <laughs> If I had to have the motherfucking connect up to my Xbox, that's just creepy. You have to have it on at all times in order to play. They're going to be watching you. I mean, I don't know if you guys believe in that kind of stuff. I don't even know if I do. I'm just pointing out all the little things that people have been complaining about and what I'm complaining about. You could agree with me or not agree with me. And uh, I don't understand that. They're focusing more on the TV specs instead of gaming. Isn't a gaming console supposed to be focusing on the gaming? But no. They're focusing more on the TV. They... <laughs> Listen to this. Okay. They're focusing more on the TV specs and gaming. Isn't Xbox for gaming? I mean... It seems like Sony has listened to the gamers and Microsoft hasn't. That is a big no-no. And, and, get this, the Xbox One is a smart TV for your smart TV, huh? Now they say it can be used as a cable box? I, I'm done. <laughs> and, Xbox One is partnershiped with NFL. Now, okay. I suppose one is partnership with sports now? I mean, I like sports. I mean, this probably isn't a big deal, but I, I just don't understand why they did that. I mean, what, are you going to be able to watch free F NFL? No. You've got to pay money. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't understand. It's just a little confusing. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I... I am just so unhappy with the Xbox One. Oh, here is... Okay. You're not going to be able to play any indie games. How cool is that? Not? I am obsessed with indie games. Look what I'm playing right now. This is a motherfucking indie game. Or is it an arcade? I'm not too sure. But, fuck. I love indie games. Like... <laughs> no, wait. No, it's not indie games. Oh, fuck. I don't... No. No. I think it's... You... Okay. Something about how... No, okay, yeah. It is indie games that you can't play. You can play arcade games, I think. I'm... Or it's the other way around. I don't know. Either way, I love both arcade and indie games. Arcade Minecraft is an arcade game. Indie games, there's the white noise. There's the impossible game. There's fucking there's poker games. There's, you know, cute things dying violently. There's so much fun indie games. And they're so fun. They have a lot of cool demos. And not, Xbox has taken that away. And some of you may say that the indie game on Microsoft already is just a mess. No, it's not. It's fun. I don't know what you guys are talking about. And this is getting intense. Holy shitballs. I'm going up the stairs. Stairway of heaven. And I'm singing a different song. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This is intense. So what do you guys think about the Xbox One? Are you going to... I always... I always miss that little 
three space thing. I cannot get it. Um, let's see. Is there anything else to talk about? I don't think so. Um, I posted down all these little notes that I was going to talk about. And I don't, I've been going back and forth. I can't tell if I missed one. Um, I guess that's all for now. I'm, I've just, I am not going to buy Xbox One. I am going to stick with the 360. If anything, I will buy the fucking PS4 if I want a new gaming system. They seem more interesting and had my attention than the fucking Xbox One. I don't know what Microsoft is thinking. Oh, what? I don't know what Microsoft is thinking right now and why they're doing this, but they need to get their shit together. If they want people to buy the Xbox One at the E, what is it, the EA or E3, whatever the fuck that is when they show all those consoles and shit, whatever, they need to really impress us. Um, I, I, I don't know, but anyways, that is the end of my rent. I'm done with this fucking game. I am done renting. Ugh, okay, well, thank you guys for listening. Bye.